So uh, my name is Violet Lim. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Viola.ai as well as Lunch Actually Group. Yeah, so I just want to tell you a bit more about our platform. So uh, basically, um, how we see it is really we are the world's smartest love AI advisor that will actually uh, evolve with the user from uh, the point they are dating to the point of courtship to even marriage. And uh, of course, we're very excited to leverage on a blockchain technology to, um, I would say, really uh, transform the dating and relationships industry. Uh, I came out of this idea which is to um, name it Viola because um, V-I-O is part of my name uh, but L-A it's actually the acronym of uh, our company uh -huh. so our company is called Lunch actually yes. so uh, within you know like internally we always refer to our company as L-A The name actually, uh, it was, um, I would say, both my husband and myself. Uh -huh. So uh, my husband and I started the business together. Uh -huh. So uh, just to give you a very quick background of how we, we started, okay. like um, we started 14 years ago. Yeah, yeah we started a dating service oh. yeah, uh, in Singapore. And currently uh, we are in five different countries, Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Indonesia and Thailand. Mm -hmm. We actually have uh, 10 different dating platforms right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, four offline, four apps and uh, two online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, after being in the industry for such a long time, of course, we have uh, realized quite a lot of different challenges that the industry face. So one of it is really uh, to do with scammers. So I'm sure anybody who have gone uh, online dating or, you know, like mobile dating would have realized that there are, you know, like scammers who are just trying to cheat you off your money. Yeah. yeah, that's one part of it. The other part of it is actually in the industry itself, there are also um, companies that actually are kind of scamming their users. Mm -hmm. So they create bots. Uh, so why they do that is very simple because um, in this industry, there's a very short uh, lifetime value for the customer and the churn is very high. So as a result, some of these com companies, what they do is uh, they, they'll create bots. So, you know, like some single guys out there, they might be thinking they're talking to this beautiful lady, but uh, sorry guys, that could be a bot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, facing all of these various problems, uh, we realized that we really want to make a difference. You know, like how can we... Um, I, I think the challenge with this industry is this. It's like if you're really good, like let's say I do a great job, like finding love for someone, this person will leave me. This person doesn't need my service anymore. Yeah. Let's say I do a really bad job, this person doesn't need me as well because they think I'm, I'm like really bad, right? Like why should they use my service? Yeah. So um, we do not want to have that conflict within ourselves, like, you know, like what some of these other companies are doing, you know, like they, they have this conflict, that's why they have to create bots and things like that. Um, I would say it's a huge difference, really. Um, like, so what a lot of the dating apps out there, uh, be it, you know, like they are on blockchain or not, it's very focused just on one vertical, which is dating. But for us, we are actually looking at the entire uh, lifeline mm -hmm. of a user. And the reason for that, um, you know, is very simple because we realize that if you're just going to focus on dating, your customer lifetime value is very short. You yes. use so much uh, money to acquire each lead, but this lead will not stay on with you for a long time because, you know, like we want to do a good job. We want them to find love very quickly and once they find love that's it they don't need your service anymore but what we have realized is with the information that we have gathered you know like the data we have gathered there's so much more we can do uh, to help them and also being in this uh, industry like um, I always say that our objective is not just to help people find love we want to help them to continue to be in love because you know like our uh, cupids so we call our associates cupids because they help people find love our cupids spend so much time and effort to bring people together it's very sad if these people end up just breaking up or maybe even getting a divorce down the road. So that's not something we are interested in. Mm -hmm. So for Viola.ai, um, firstly, it's um, the AI that evolves, you know, like, so uh, we actually help uh, the user. I'm not sure whether you have seen this uh, particular episode on Black Mirror. Uh, it's a, a show on Netflix, which, which is quite popular. But anyway, um, the idea is that we want to kind of be like the person's like wingman when they are dating. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like um, what, what are the uh, girls that might be suitable for you? What are the guys who are suitable for you when you go on dates? You know, like what are the things that you should be doing, what you should not be doing? Because ultimately, finding someone is not just about meeting the right one. Mm -hmm. It's really about being the right one as well. Yeah. So uh, that's what we discovered. And that's why within the group, we actually have uh, something what we call uh, Lunch Actually Academy, mm -hmm. which we do date coaching and image coaching but of course um, with that it's it's not scalable because you know like it's one-to-one -one. but with Viola.ai it's very scalable so you know basically like um, our AI uh, Viola can be helping anybody at any point because you know it's, it's through AI 
And um, other than that, it's also a marketplace. Mm. Yeah, so basically what we are doing is uh, we are working with like, you know, people who provide like romance goods or romance services. So um, during the right time, you know, like through the interaction with the user, we can actually give them um, suggestions mm -hmm. or even like a re a recommendations. So uh, one of the things that I tell, uh, you know, like potential users of Viola, I say, you know, you don't need to ever worry that you're going to forget your girlfriend's or your wife's birthday mm -hmm. or you don't need to forget anniversary because like sometimes, you know, like uh, people forget and then their partner get very angry because basically within Viola.ai, depending on uh, how they uh, set up their preferences, they will be reminded like maybe a week before or even a, a few days before, like, you know, oh, your anniversary is coming up, yes. you know, like these are the flowers that your uh, girlfriends like, you know, mm -hmm. like I can just order it for you right now. Or like, you know, these are the restaurants that, you know, she enjoy going to. Do you want me to make a booking for you? So within the marketplace, uh, vendors or merchants can come on board mm -hmm. and um, they can, you know, of course, uh, benefit, you know, from uh, having increased uh, business. Mm -hmm. uh, from Viola uh, itself, you know, we get a revenue share. So that's one part of it. The other part of it is uh, we are also looking to build a community of experts. Mm -hmm. So uh, even as of now, we already have uh, tied up with Matchmaking Institute in New York. So they have a network of more than 3,000 over matchmakers as well as uh, dating coaches. So once Viola.ai is launched, they will come on board as well. Mm -hmm. So for example, now when people have relationship problems or like dating uh, challenges, they will go on maybe uh, forums like, for example, Quora or Reddit, mm -hmm. and they'll ask questions. And let's say you are someone who gives fantastic answers. Yeah. So what, what do you get out of it? Maybe you get like a best answer badge, you know, or like maybe a lot of thumbs up or something like that, right? But you know, like when they come onto Viola.ai, they will actually, you know, like get, uh, uh, they will be tipped in tokens mm -hmm. or they will be rewarded in tokens. So um, we are building that community as well. Because right now, like there isn't any company, at least like as of what we know, that actually does this. It's like everybody, it's like in the vertical. So for example, it's like Tinder, you know, like it's in like uh, maybe like more casual dating or like maybe in Korea, like let's say, you know, like Duo, it's more like maybe serious dating or there are companies that maybe do like uh, marriage counselling, but it's all in verticals. Like nobody has kind of like brought it all together. Mm -hmm. So I, I think there's a few things. Like one, it's like we really want to bring a, a counseling or like maybe even like relationship coaching to the forefront. Because I think right now when people have problems with their spouse or have problems with their partners, they are very reluctant mm -hmm. to actually seek help. Because to them, they are like, oh, you know, it's like, uh, it's not so bad yet, you know, like, I, I think we can manage, or they will feel that it's a stigma, you know, it's like, yeah, I seek help is a bad thing. Yeah, but so, like, how we have actually, I would say, uh, transformed the dating industry in uh, Southeast Asia, where in the past, when people think of using a dating service, they're like, oh, you know, there's something really wrong about it. But now people are generally quite open about it. About, about it. In fact, you know, like, people will, like, say that, oh, yeah, yeah, lunch, actually, I've heard about it. I have friends who use you guys, and then they are now married. So that's what we want to do with a uh, relationship coaching as well because I think ultimately it's like we don't want people to be suffering alone a lot of people like when they have uh, relationship problems they think they it's just them it's like they think like oh there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong with their partners but we realize that actually a lot of people have these uh, challenges you know mm -hmm. like actually a relationship or marriage is like full of ups and downs yeah. yeah so we just want to see how we can actually help them and we feel that Valador AI is a very good way because if you ask people to just download an app which is just for uh, solving relationship problems. I don't think anybody would download such an app. Yeah, but right now what we are saying is that you know, Valido AI is really just your um, you know, like your uh, love advisor. You know, be it from the time you're dating to the time maybe you are in courtship. So it's something that they are already familiar with and they grow with. And because you know of the AI, we keep learning about who they are, what they are looking for. So the things that we can, the the ideas we can give to them or the advice we can give them is very catered to them as well. Because for example, it's like let's say you join a dating service here and out of nowhere you join another relationship uh, counseling there's no um, transaction of uh, information yeah. like the relationship counselor have no idea what happened previously mm -hmm. yeah but for us it's like you know we have the entire chain of what actually happened to you and from there we can cater very specific advice mm -hmm. yeah or tools that can help you to improve or become better
Violet.AI AI is a project that uh, we actually have been, I would say, uh, working on, or you know, like at least like having that vision, uh, like for the last one and a half to two years. Um, however, when we came across the blockchain technology, we got very excited because we feel that it really fit into this project very nicely. So one of which is, um, of course, you know, like with any dating app, um, it's about um, the trust, like knowing that whoever you're talking to is really who they are, be it uh, the scammers, be it the companies, or just be it some users who just do not tell their information truthfully. <laughs> yeah. So with our real ID verification, you know, like uh, we can match, like firstly, we'll do a, a real-time video scanning of the user. We'll match it against the photo that they provided us with. We also match it with their social media accounts. Mm -hmm. And if it's like, you know, tick, 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 then all of it, that result will be hashed onto the blockchain. Um, the other part of it is, of course, security. Mm -hmm. So um, not sure if you're familiar with like some of the past cases, for example, like Ashley Madison, where there was a huge... Um, a breach of uh, security and as a result a lot of the users their information were, were leaked mm -hmm. and uh, in the case of Ashley Madison it's really bad because uh, uh, apparently it's a platform for married people yeah, yeah so um, in, in this case you know like because uh, with decentralizing of the information as well so we'll decentralize you know some of the key personal information back onto the uh, users uh, mobile devices so with that you know it's like even if there's a hack it's like you know the hacker will just get like some gibberish because you know the information has, has been decentralized so that's one part of it with the usage of blockchain. The other part of it is that um, with tokens, it's really uh, important for us like to have our own tokens because we are building uh, uh, you know, the world's smartest love AI. So we need a lot of data. Mm -hmm. So you know, like by incentivizing you know, people to provide uh, this data to us, you know, like we can give them, uh, reward them by tokens. So of course, some people will say, why don't you just reward them by like, other cryptocurrencies? But of course, you know, it's like with other cryptocurrencies, then you know, like, there's always gas. Mm -hmm. But with our own cryptocurrency, then it's frictionless. And uh, the third part is because we're also building an ecosystem, we are building a marketplace. Yeah. So uh, we also want to like use smart contracts um, for people to, like for example, merchants or even like um, community experts to know that they will actually be paid uh, on time and uh, also going forward. They don't need to worry like suddenly, you know, we just decide that, oh, you know, I've been just paying you too much. I don't want to pay you anymore. I'll just pull the plug. Mm -hmm. So they do not need to worry about that. And with that, you know, like we are confident that we'll be able to bring in even more merchants on board and even more experts on board to make Viola.ai uh, even better. So, uh, like what I mentioned just now, it's like uh, we will decentralize some of the key information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so obviously it's like uh, in order for us to have certain data. So, for example, it's like dating. It's like uh, there are a lot of different data points. You know, it's like uh, what type of person you like, what type of person you don't like. You know, it's like how did other people respond to you. So, of course, it's like if all of this data is linked to that particular person and people can see it's linked to that particular person, then that's a privacy issue. Uh -huh. But when it's actually, you know, it's like you do not know who it's like who that person is, but we are Using, only using the data, so it becomes like a big data. Uh, yeah, so I think with that, then there wouldn't be a privacy issue. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, ultimately, it's really about using that information to see the patterns and trends mm -hmm. and to see how we can help the next user. So we feel that um, that would definitely be the first test bait, uh, or maybe you can even say Singapore, because that's that's where we are headquartered. But at the same time, we have had like, a lot of uh, interest, I would say, uh, from like um, North America, meaning uh, US, Canada, uh, from Europe as well. So a lot of interest from uh, UK, Germany, and uh, even India. Yeah, so uh, we will, um, from there, you know, like, uh, see where would be the next market that we want to go into. But ultimately, Vala.ai, it's a global project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the idea is that we want to launch it globally, you know, like, uh, in uh, step by step. Okay, yep. then what about Korea? Uh, Korea definitely is a market that we're very excited about. Uh -huh. Yeah, because um, I would say, you know, in the early days when we first started the business, uh, we have been learning a lot from like the Korean uh, companies as well. Yeah, yeah so um, Korean is definitely uh, on the radar. So mm -hmm. I would say after the initial uh, uh, test bait, you know, like or pilot in Singapore, like, you know, like Asia, like including Korea would be uh, the next part. Yeah, actually in Japan. Yeah, so uh, we, we are in Japan and we have a JV with a partner in Japan. Mm -hmm. So um, I think even with the Southeast Asian market, uh, we have always been uh, working with local partners mm -hmm. because, um, you know, like dating or like relationships, it's a very personal, yes. uh, uh, you know, like thing. And it's like we cannot assume that uh, just because we understand dating in one country or one culture, we understand in all different date, uh, cultures. Yeah. So that's something that we are very mindful of. So uh, even when we expanded into, for example, Indonesia, 
uh, we, we have an Indonesian partner, yeah. And then when we expanded into uh, Thailand, mm -hmm. we didn't uh, actually just go in on our own. Uh, we actually acquired uh, the largest uh, Thai, Thai matchmaking company. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they, um, the uh, founder also came on board and she's part of the uh, company as well. So same thing uh, for Indonesia. So we acquired this um, app called Satipa, which is you know like uh, the biggest uh, serious dating uh, app in Indonesia. So the founders, they came on board as well. Wow. So um, as we expand, like um, I, I would really say that is the mode of expansion. Like we will always be on the ground and looking for uh, locals, you know, like who share the same vision and mission as us, and uh, to come on board to help us uh, de develop that particular market. So uh, we are currently uh, working on our MVP. So our MVP for the dating part will uh, be launched in May. Yeah, so um, we, are, uh, we have a roadmap, of course. So uh, we are looking at from uh, the launch of the MVP, a year from then, we will be able to push out all the various uh, parts uh, that we have been talking about yeah, in the white paper. I think uh, a couple of reasons. I mean, firstly, you know, we have gotten uh, quite a good feedback uh, in terms of uh, it during our pre-sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have gotten you know, like interest from the Korean community. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, I think um, Korea has also a big like a matchmaking culture as well. Yeah. So yeah, I think, you know, as a result, I think the community would be able to understand our project uh, really easily. So uh, definitely uh, for this trip, uh, this time, you know, like looking to uh, uh, discuss with mm -hmm. any potential partners. And of course, you know, anybody who's watching this, you know, please feel free to reach out to me. We started uh, the pre-sale uh, sometime in uh, December and we have concluded it uh, in uh, January. So uh, what's really exciting uh, because we managed to close it earlier than expected. So we closed five days before um, and uh, we uh, sold uh, 7.5 uh, million uh, tokens. Yeah, and uh, our public sale is going to be uh, 14th of March. Yeah, so... Um, like uh, right now, what we have been doing is really building up the community. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, one thing that we have been uh, very excited about is that we have gotten, I would say, a lot of acknowledgement and also... Um, it, because, you know, it's like usually when we tell people about this plan, sometimes people can't really understand, oh, you know, is there such a need for this? So I think really doing an ICO, like the way we see it, is also about like crowdsourcing mm -hmm. in terms of like... Uh, um, understanding is that something what people need and like once we started this we have gotten very good response you know like people who would tell us like wow you know this really makes sense you know I can really see uh, uh, this working in my life you know be it they are single or they are married mm -hmm. yeah so uh, I, I would say uh, we, we have been very encouraged by the response we have gotten so far uh, through the community building part of the ICO and we are currently uh, doing the uh, KYC uh, yes yes yeah your customer Yes, that's oh, right, yeah. yes. So uh, definitely they can go to our website, which is uh, viola.ai, B-I-O-L-E dot A-I. They can also uh, join our Telegram group, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, like where they can interact with uh, myself or any of our team members to find out more information. So we do, uh, so we, we have um, a chat group in uh, Kakao Talk as well. So I think um, another thing to emphasize about um, the, the tokens as well, so unlike uh, like maybe some other ICOs in the market where there is actually no usage of the token until the product is up, mm -hmm. for for us actually, you know, like once the token is issued, there is a utility mm -hmm. because uh, the tokens can be used on our existing 10 platforms, mm -hmm. yeah, which I mentioned just now. So, you know, like four offline, uh, four apps and two online. And um, so even prior to our MVP uh, coming up in May, it can already be used in this existing 10, uh, 10 platforms. And uh, so, you know, I think uh, just to go through very quickly, if you're single, so obviously, you know, like you can use the token to get curated matches on Viola. You can like use it to get dating advice. You can use it to buy flowers hours, book restaurants, and of course if you are a couple or you're in a relationship, so similarly, you know, you can use it to get like relationship advice, you can use it, you know, like to go on uh, like dates with your current partner as well because it's important to continue to romance your partner even though now you're together, yes.
I think, you know, like, um, just to really, uh, you know, share with our audience, I think ultimately, like for myself, um, the reason why I've stayed on in this industry after so many years, mm -hmm. it's because um, I feel that I want to pay it for it. Because uh, I'm, I guess, one of the very lucky few where I met my uh, love of my life at university. So I met my husband at 20, we got married at 25, and then, you know, like, I had our kids, you know, at 26 and then 29. So before 30, you know, like, in a way, I have this, like, a picture-perfect happy family. Yes. So I, I believe that, you know, I have been given all of this is so that, you know, I can help others and pay uh -huh. it forward. So that is actually what inspired me and motivated me to continue to stay on. And why we're very excited about this Violet.ai project, you know, definitely is our most ambitious project to date and it's, it's not going to be an easy one mm -hmm. but at the same time uh, why I'm so uh, committed and so encouraged is because I really feel that by leveraging on blockchain as well as AI technology we can transform the dating and relationships industry um, as, as from how it is right now mm -hmm. yeah so uh, I hope you know like our viewers can really come on board and really help us to change the world one relationship at a time I would say uh, definitely, you know, like we look forward to having more Koreans in our community. We want to bring Vala.ai to Korea as soon as possible. Yes. So, you know, please come on to our website, uh, Vala.ai, to find out more about what we do.